In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a personalized email to each of the email addresses on your Excel database. You can also use this method to write personalized letters in Word. Let's see how we're going to go about it. Open in front of me is an Excel spreadsheet. It contains names and information of fictitious characters, their registration number, their affiliation and the email addresses. Now, I would like to send a personalized email to each of these people on the list and the email should contain the title surname the registration number and the organization of each so let's see how we're going to go about it so here's my document I've already written it I want to include title surname there uh, the registration number there and the organizational affiliation there go to Microsoft Word's mailings tab start mail merge and you, when you're more familiar with Mail Merge, you can use these options, quick and easy. But for now, let's go through the step-by-step -step Mail Merge wizard. So you can choose if you would like to write letters, emails, envelopes, labels, or directory. We want to go to Email Messages. Go to the next step here at the bottom. And it just takes a bit of time to convert into a Mail Merge document. I'm going to use the current document. But you can use a template or an existing document. Next, select recipients. I'm going to use an existing list. Let's browse and find it. It asks you which sheet you would like to import. If you have more than one sheet in your Excel database, you can choose if you want to exclude some of these names from the email that you're going to send them. I want to include all of them. And my next step is to write my email message. So yeah, I've written the bulk of the body, but the personalized items have not been included yet. So you can choose to these auto options like the address block and the greeting line or the electronic postage. But I'm going to just go to more items. And I want to insert the title there. So I've put my cursor there. Insert. I also want to insert the surname. Perfect. Um, I want to include the registration number there. And I want to include the organization or affiliation there. Perfect. Now, the next step is to preview it, a very important step, because here you'll see that there's no space. You can preview and see, did it work? And go through the various records using these arrows to make sure that all of them look nice. If you've got many, it's no need to preview all of them. If the first few looks good, all of them will look good. Okay, and the next step, complete the mail merge. You want to send an electronic mail. Click on electronic mail. Put your let's say that subject line is registration you're going to use send it to the email address um, now you can choose an, to send it as an attachment as plain text or HTML let's keep it with HTML and we're going to send it to all records click OK and your message is being emailed so now if it is a long um, Excel list of people to email. This step will take a bit of time, but go and make a cup of tea and come back when you're done. And this is what the email looks like. So if anybody in the community can tell us how to not use third party software to add an attachment to this and not because you can write this letter as an attachment. But at this stage, you need third party software to to add an attachment to this existing email and how to add a CC or a BCC to this email. Please let us know in the comments below this video. It will be very helpful for the entire community. Now this is what our email looks like, but let's say we want to write this letter as a, a Word document. We want various Word documents. So let's go back in our steps. So again, you can just start the mail merge from scratch. Here it says letters. 
Okay, we've already been through these steps. Just want to show you what the our final product looks like. And you can choose if you want to print these emails immediately or these, um, my apologies, these letters that's going to be written on a Word document if you choose to write letters or if you want to edit individual letters. And let me show you what they look like. So it's my fault I added a, an, an additional page here in the original document. But here's your various letters. One after the other, you'll find your individual letters. And this document won't be here, this blank page. And there you go. And now they're ready for print um, from here. Or you can edit individual letters. And you can save them from here. This is just your standard Word document. I hope this helps. And no more copying and pasting from Excel into Word um, to write personalized letters or emails. I hope this make makes your life much easier. Enjoy.